We're Wisconsin Robotics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. This is our 2018 URC Rover, Ascent Mark II. Ascent Mark II is an improved and freshly built iteration of our previous rover, Ascent. The team has maintained the successful core concepts of Ascent while improving system capability and reliability. We're using a rocker bogey system with an adjustable wheelbase and ride height. This will allow our rover to adapt to any terrain scenario in a matter of seconds. Currently we are using a wheel design familiar to the team. An in-wheel motor is surrounded by a Kevlar shell. This is mounted to aluminum spokes which support the entire wheel. Currently, the Mark II utilizes the robotic arm the Mark I used in URC 2017. This is to allow for immediate testing of control systems and general rover functionality while developing and testing a new design in parallel. The Mark I arm offers the required functionality incorporating a belt-driven system and a linear actuator at the shoulder joint. The Mark II arm improves upon the concept by removing the use of all belts and focusing on efficient usage of actuators. A sixth degree of freedom, which we plan to use during the equipment servicing task, is in development. It places the entire arm on a set of linear rails to allow for simple rotation of the crankshaft. The manipulator is an improved version of the design we used last year. It is also equipped with a magnetic solenoid to give us an adequate pecking motion when using the keyboard in the equipment servicing task. We will combine all of these features with inverse kinematics for quick and efficient arm control. The embedded system of Mark II has been dramatically overhauled with a focus on reliability and recovery. The computer, radio, microcontrollers, and IP cameras communicate over Ethernet, which allows the rover to recover from intermittent link failures due to vibrations or faults. The custom ARM and drive microcontrollers have integrated Ethernet and power regulation systems and use the industry-proven free RTOS TCP stack for communication with the other systems. For communication with the base station, the team is using two off-the-shelf commercial radio systems at 900 megahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. These systems have proven to meet the range and line of sight constraints of URC. Motor control is done with ion motion control RoboClaws. For our high-level software control stack, we are using ROS, the popular open source robotics framework. ROS allows for decentralized communication between all of the rover's components, including autonomy, drive control, and the base station. For the Mark II's autonomous software, we have divided the stack into two portions. Navigation for general terrain traversal and obstacle avoidance, and computer vision for detecting the tennis ball at the gate. The navigation portion will take us close enough to the gate by using GPS coordinates, and the vision portion will detect the tennis ball at the gate and take us to within two meters of it. We have taken a SLAM-based approach for navigation and obstacle avoidance. SLAM, or Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, allows us to build a map of everything that we've seen using a depth camera and put ourselves inside of that map. By using GPS coordinates, we can set the autonomous system's goal to be the supplied GPS coordinates of the gate. For vision, we will be using machine learning to detect tennis balls, rather than using a simple computer vision masking approach. Once the tennis ball has been detected, we will use depth data to navigate to within two meters and send back success to the base station. To accomplish these approaches, we will be using a Stereolabs Z 2K stereo camera. Our onboard computer is an NVIDIA Jetson TX2. The TX2 has a discrete GPU intended for onboard AI processing, which will be able to handle all of our computational needs. Lastly, we will be using an inertial sense MUINS for accurate GPS and IMU data to aid in our navigation, both autonomous and teleoperated. To test our autonomous software, we are utilizing Gazebo, the simulation platform supported by Ross. Additionally, we are using an iRobot Create 2 to test our SLAM implementations on a small-scale robot before running SLAM on the Mark II. To obtain the soil sample for the science task, a collection tool would be attached to the end of Mark II's arm. A servo-operated door will allow us to empty the chamber when needed, so we can cycle unwanted soil through the chamber until we reach the required depth with the auger. We can then close this door to hold the sample until it can be emptied into a container on the rover chassis. We will study the soil using a temperature and humidity probe and an improved microscopic imager, which provides an image of the test site soil at 375 times magnification. In the laboratory, we will be using a fertility probe to measure nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and pH, a conductivity sensor to measure the salinity of the soil, and a variety of chemical tests to determine the presence of macromolecules essential to microbial life. Ascent Mark II is a direct representation of Wisconsin Robotics, measured system design, and years of competitive experience. With the improvements we'll make through May, we're excited to deliver an even more outstanding system at URC 2018.